G'day everyone, and welcome back for more assertive cargo ships. I've been meaning to get back to these for quite some time, and I thought today I'd focus on, hopefully, these two ships from Consti. Uh, they're both pretty... I don't think there's a lot I have to do externally on either of them. They're pretty sexy looking ships. Um, and Consti's also got the fairly hidden thruster design. The main thing that I need to do for these to bring them up to where the other ships are is the internals. In here, I think Consti might have done this deliberately, is left it pretty blank so that I could <laughs> go nuts and see what I could do with it. So that's kind of the plan today. This space in here is meant to be a hangar, so I might need to do a little bit of decoration with like some cargo blocks or something like that. And similarly, this one is also set up with a hangar and an interior that I've got a little bit of space to do stuff with, but not a great deal. So I think I'll have to plan around these being at most two-person ships, or at least looking like that, because they're a bit tight on the inside to me for me to do much more than that. The other thing is I will need to check before the end of the stream if these work on Omicron. I suspect they will because they've both got two large atmospheric thrusters. So they should have plenty of lift. Perhaps. So, starting with the Mantis. What angles do we actually have turrets to defend this thing? And, oh, actually, before I even do that, how much PCU do these have? 3854. Okay, that's not too bad. I can definitely pop a couple of turrets on, even if it pushes it over that limit. Like, I think for something this size, particularly something with the atmospheric thrusters, the large ones, I'm going to want to protect it a bit more and make this at least a medium difficulty ship. And hey, Remethep, Bison, Templanaut, Terra Squid, everyone. How's everyone going on this lovely Saturday morning? Afternoon, now. <laughs> I was meaning to start in the morning, but I uh, was rendering something, so I couldn't quite start until that was done. So I think I might start... Well, depending on where you are in the world, Remethep, yeah. It might be Friday night, Saturday morning. So I think having a couple of turrets back here. It's the same setup on this one. Ah, this one's got the uh, little interior turrets. I might move them down a block so that if you've got the turret randomizer, it could change up to anything. And I think, given the size, I'm going to go with big anyway. Yeah. Hmm. What other angles do I want to cover? I think it's nice having the uh, interior turret in here. I don't think I'll try and fit a large one. There are two large ones under there. Same on this. Okay. So it's actually got a decent amount of coverage. Oh, jeez. It's got even more lifting thrusters. I didn't see those before. Okay. Yeah, six... Six, <laughs> six Gatlings is a bit of hatred. But... From any angle, I think at most you'll get hit by two. So that's not too overwhelming. I think they're fair to make these uh, medium difficulty ones. Now, for inside. First off, I'm going to give this hangar a little bit more light because it is basically pitch dark in here. And I think we all know by this point, I don't like pitch dark. Yeah, that's better. Oh no, can't color the floor. Floor needs to stay. Now what about up here? Again, I think, I think all of these lights are set at their default radius. So 
I'm going to need to fiddle with them now and probably at the end as well to get everything looking as I like it. And we've got just these two lights up here. Okay. Uh, no, Guardian Fox, this is not a new survival. This is the Assertive Cargo Ships mod. This is how the way I built most of the ships for the series, for that um, mod, is actually from um, from streams like this. I built the first few in streams and then a bunch of people have sent me ships to include and now I'm and over time I've been slowly working through them. I'm hoping because these two are quite similar I can do a very similar internal design on them and get them both ready to go. Then it'll be up to I think this is Natomir's? Yeah, Natomir's ship over here. And then I've got two more from the original batch before I can move on to the next lot. So just hoping to get a few extra ships into the pack each month or so. At least until I start to get taught how to use um, Lucas's next big update to his mod. To the, um, the right, uh, not to his mod. The next big update to NPCs, which will be Lucas's rival AI, which is going to be epic, I think. Let's try white. Well, Lucas was in chat just before, so he might be better off saying what it is, but basically it's going to be a way for us to have far more interesting interactions with NPCs. That's kind of the nuts and bolts of it. Which is really quite cool. Because at the moment we're pretty limited with what we can do with the NPCs. And I know, Remethep, you've... Um, done a little bit of stuff with the Tiamat NPCs, so you've done a little bit with Modular Encounters. Wait, did Twitch not update my stream info? Because this is not Station Ears. I played Station Ears the other day and I've updated the thingo, but I did play Station Ears the other day. Uh, I think that's a bit too bright in white. I might make it grey. Okay, good. Information is correct. Phew. Oh, excellent. I thought it did. I made an effort to update it for once and... Would have been rather annoyed if I hadn't... Why is there a block missing there? Is that intentional? That doesn't feel intentional. I'm going to change that. In fact... I might do. Let's get my headlights back on. Yeah, just make it a little bit more detailed. I don't know where that. Oh, there it is. Oh, dang it. There we go. From the man himself. Rival AIs. Ah! <laughs> Mackle, you nutcase. Thanks, man. <laughs> that came up just as I was reading Lucas's message. <laughs> oh, dude, thank you. Uh, so, Rival AI's big goal is for allowing behaviors similar to what you'd find in corruption that can be built from the XML. So, you don't need to be as clever as Lucas to be able to pull off some of the stuff that he did for corruption, which for someone like me, it's just awesome because I am not capable of doing that stuff that he did without, you know, him having set it up and made it doable beforehand. Uh, yeah, I might just leave that like that. This is a little bit more detail in the hangar so it's not just an empty space. And, yeah, 
Now, here's the challenging bit. I'm going to actually kind of gut the internals here. And because I don't really care that these things aren't piped, since we can just kind of fake it, I'm going to get rid of these bits, save on a bit of PCU. And clear out a little bit more of this space in here. So I know I've got a bit more room to work with. Okay, so that's where that connector is set up. Right. I'll need to make sure I cover that up properly with a bed block or something like that. And I might, just to make things a little bit easier, just put a conveyor in here. Put the junction down and leave it like that. Cool. That gives me a bit of room to play with. Uh, I'm tempted to leave these stairs, but I'm also... Ah, oh, yeah, I should leave them. Because they're kind of hiding something. Sort of tempted to put a ladder in instead. Um, the things I'm hoping to do with mods like a set of cargo ships and a set of installations is right now what I was doing with the antenna system was trying to make them a little bit more dynamic but Lucas's system is going to be so much more powerful than that and give me so many more options to make things more dynamic more interesting and hopefully make each encounter a bit more memorable that it should be a whole lot better. Uh, where have I got my control chairs? Have I got them anywhere here? Yep. So I was tossing up putting this big one in. In fact, I think that does look better between these two rampy bits. Uh, Clam, I think... Lucas, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Thraxis is working on the... Might be working on something with custom contracts. Or at least at the moment Thraxis is working on... A complete rework of the economy system. Is that right? For um, EEM. So. I might start up this end and then work backwards. To knowing that I have to get down to these stairs. Oh. <laughs> Mackle. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. That's 40 dude. That's insane. Ah, uh, thank you. Ah, oh, jeez. You are too, too generous. I'm still tempted to put a spiral staircase in. Um, right. I want to have... Hmm. I want to have a bed, a toilet, and I need to have another chair. So do I put another control seat in or do I put a desk? I think I might put a desk. Desk, and where's my programmable block? Now I've got one somewhere on here. Yeah. And just to make this fun, large display, script.
Oh, Climb, you did it. Are you looking at making... I thought you were just mentioning that someone else might... But if you're doing it, that's epic, dude. The stuff coming out lately, mod-wise, is just amazing. And I am so excited for this year. Because I've been watching some of the random stuff you've been doing, Climb, and it's hilarious and awesome. I am seriously waiting until I can put that cowboy hat on <laughs> and mess with Kavak, because he'll be so jealous. And if you don't know what I'm talking about with the cowboy hat, um, have a look in the Discord, in my Discord, as Climb has posted some pretty funny stuff there recently. Yeah. Now, I am not happy with this being in um, horrible darkness colors. That's better. Yeah, that feels a bit nicer. <laughs> yeah, the... I think the split seed... De uh, I thought I was meant to come up with something to give the splitsy decoy in um, Calm's decoys possibly mod, but um, I can't remember if I actually ended up giving him one. Textfire, we are greebling. Sort of. We're, actually, this is more interior design and decoration, since the exterior of these ships is pretty awesome. <laughs> How you doing, Tex? You off to work again, or are you back just from work? Do I put a couch in here? Might put a kitchen in, actually. Uh, which is on... This one. Yeah. Uh, Trekker Joe, this is one of Consti's ships. Um, so, I'll show you guys, I'll re-show you guys the outside in a second. I'm just debating whether I'm happy with this sort of setup. Do I want the kitchen on the bridge? I think I kind of have to have the kitchen on the bridge. And then the bathroom here, and then I'll do sleeping quarters. <laughs> Dragged on. I tend to do the traps off stream so that not so that's not quite as easy to know where they are. Yeah, easy snacks for the pilots. Uh, yeah, I'm not hating this. I think I might need to leave this block clear so I've got a light a spot for some lights. Where are my lights? Uh, set this to max range and then see how this looks without my head torch. It's pretty dark. Hmm. Oh yes. That's the other thing. The... <laughs> as Lucas just said, the opportunity for nasty traps with his rival AI mod are incredible. They are seriously amazing. There are so many good opportunities for messing with people. I think that feels a bit better. Yeah, I didn't clear out any spot to put a light, but... Um, from Mackle, however, scenario, um, updates break a bit of it.
Oh yeah, Mackle, if you've got a scenario you're halfway through, make sure you poke, uh, you drop it down in the Discord because there are a few people around who are working on that sort of stuff. And you might be able to get a little bit of group progress. I think, I think I'm not happy with this. I don't think it fits in with the rest of it. And I might even drop those. And instead, put a second one in. Because I need more light in here. It's just not enough. How does that look next to the other one? Ugh, that does not work. Nope. Nope, nope. Uh, the block behind the main flight seat is occupied by this chair right here. Unfortunately. Good job, Tex. Um, not buying things when you don't necessarily want to buy them should probably be considered a victory. I consider it a victory every time I don't buy something I don't actually need. Uh, I think I might just put a couch in. And then I'll put another light over here. Rather than spending too much time messing around with this. Turn off my light, and yeah, that feels better. That feels much better. I'm not a big fan of the whole doom, dark, gloomy spaces where people actually live, unless you're going for that specific look. Um, in terms of, if you've got a clean looking ship, realistically, the living spaces are going to be bright enough for people to function inside them. Um... If you've got a rusty, run-down sort of thing, then yellowish to greenish, unhealthy, kind of like my um, missile silo in Survival Maybe, that sort of lighting you can get away with. But I feel like this thing's all crisp and clean and nice. To have it having dark space, uh, it wouldn't be great. Uh, Mackle, one bathroom in here. Toilet and shower. And I'm thinking I might even put a door here because then I can pop a light in here oop no wrong button yeah Graco Graco you could um, use the, just the rust skin to do that or the other option is the uh, what you call it? The... What's the other skin called? Uh, battered. And now... Yeah, battered looks... A lot like concrete to me, so I tend to primarily use it on structures, not on ships. I just find it doesn't feel quite right for ships. To me, anyway. But that is just me. Oh. Bonus space. Nice. Uh, Scythe, so I think it's because they can't put a light source in the toilet. It's because it's a seat, it can't be a light. The shower, on the other hand, it should have had this light be an actual light. Oh yeah, that's probably true, Eisen. The batter does would probably work for small grid military stuff. 
But this shower, because it doesn't actually have a functional thing, these lights, one of these lights, or they move the light location, it could have been an actual light. So this whole block could have been a light block. And that would have meant that every time you put a shower beside a bathroom, you'd at least have light, which would be quite convenient. Um, but for some reason, they didn't think of that. Now, beds. Nope, where are my beds? There we go. Um, I've got three blocks across. I'm going to need stairs. I suppose what I could do is go one there, one there, and then have the stairs go down the middle. And pop something like that on each side. Stairs down the middle. I'll put railings in here. I can put another set of lockers over here, which is the different type of locker. This one. Yeah. This is totally different to my other ones, so I'm happy. And then we have maybe just a light up here. Let's minimize the number of lights. Now I just need railings. Uh, where are the railings? There we go. Yeah. I wonder if someone will do a shower light mod <laughs> that just replaces the vanilla block. That's all the regular catwalk, the old school one. Might ditch it and grab the new one. I do like that they've added the uh, single width stair stuff now. That was definitely something that felt like it was missing. Oh, we... no, there's no version of that thing. Hmm. Oh yeah. I don't like that I've got both types of stairs, but I don't think I can really do anything about that. Let's see. Can I walk up this with the turret there? Nope. Can I get rid of that block? Yes. Uh, I said to, yeah, you could use, you could move the turret up to the top of the stairs instead of having it down covering the hangar, but I feel like it make, it's kind of nice having it cover the hangar. Um, now. I know these were probably, I know those were quite nice there, but... I'm thinking I might do instead. Who's this? I need a grinder. See how this looks. Nope, wrong block. No, no, don't have, don't like that. I was thinking it might look like a support, but it really doesn't. 
maybe an interior pillar or something could go there. See how that looks. And see how easy it is to walk around. I think that again looks kind of funny. Yeah. It's too close to the stairs. Aha! Here we go. I have a better plan. There we go. That should... That kind of gives that same sort of feel that we had, except now I've got the extra space so it doesn't feel quite so tight. Uh, I think that works. And then I need a little bit of decorative in here, and I think this one's pretty much done. Yeah. Turn off my lights and check that I've got enough clearance. Hey, Genties. Another interior turret. Mm, should I? What's the PCU at? After my decorative efforts. 4,600. Um, maybe I'll put together some versions that have the extra turret and some that don't. Maybe. But I'm pretty happy with this. It's all pretty grey and very basic in here, but I feel like that's almost right for this. Oh yeah, I could put an armory there. Good thought, big ol'. Uh... Mm, maybe the other way. Or should I put it over where these crates are? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'll probably need to figure out. I'll need to do some stuff with a lot of these designs, but for traps. However, the beauty of what Lucas has planned with Rival AI is I won't need to modify a lot of the a lot of the grids in order to get traps into these things. They're going to be able to be nasty all on their own, which is going to be great. Yeah. Wonder. Actually, Michael, you might be right. What if I do this? Forget the slopey bits and instead. What am I doing? Where I'm at. Go with these armories. Um, what could I put in there that's going to be... Hmm. Yeah, I think this I think this looks a lot better than it did before with those in there. Gives a bit more reason for the shaping as well, which I quite like. <laughs> yeah, I was I'm um, I was thinking the planters earlier, but I, they don't really fit the feel of this vessel. This vessel's more militaristic, so 
I didn't really want to go with planters here. Um, what else we got? What could I put in that corner? <laughs> no, neither of those. I suppose we could put, I could put a survival kit in there. Uh, I've got a couple of armories here and here, Tax. So, and it, when I've had the other one in there, it looked a bit weird. I might just leave it naked. Or I'll pop, if I really want to pop something in there, I will put, say, just a couple of... I mean, I could put some lab equipment in there, but that feels a bit weird. Might just put the... Crates, put some crates in there. That'll do. The yeah, event's always an option. <laughs> I could put a fake vent above the thing here. Uh, yeah. Cool. This one is pretty well done. Just need some lights down here now. And I think what I will do is place one there and one there. Turn my lights off. Let's see at what point I kind of put a little bit of that into darkness. 15.5. Uh, Devastin, there's a mod called Decoys Probably, which every time the Capac Decoy gets hit, he says, ow. Well, once it's damaged, it just keeps saying, ow, ow, ow. Ow! Because I gave, um, Karma a recording of Capac doing that. Sweet. Now I just have to see if this works on Omicron. See, this is the Mantis. Yeah, Consti did a great job on the kind of sleek militaristic design on these two. Cool. Alright, let's go upstairs and let's disconnect it and see how this thing flies. That is not the way I wanted to go. Whoa! Okay, that was quite the strong magnet on the connector. I think there's a good chance this will work on Omicrons. Ah uh, yeah, King Arcane, these are actual ships that will get added to assertive cargo ships. That's the whole plan, so the one in front of you the one in front of me that you can see there, that one is another one that got added during the last time I did a stream around this. Oh god, so too, I'm not too worried about blueprints and things just until I'm completely ready because I've got backup saves and things like that so there's not too much of a worry thankfully so hopefully in the next few days I'll be able to add this one <laughs> yeah Lucas <laughs> Alright, so, this one, I need to rename the antenna to medium. And I think I have to get rid of that, at least for the moment. Uh, range, let's put it to 2600 meters. And, yeah, now. That's a long name, Consti. I'm just going to shorten this a bit. Okay. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, Michael, there is a... There's probably about a billion capax around that way. Now I need to check ammunition for each of these. 24, that's good. 24, that's good. 24. Because I don't want too much ammo in these things. Um, I had been tempted to use larger stocks of ammo on all of the grids, but the downside of that is, once you actually capture it, you then get so much that it's just a bit meh. I don't know, I just feel like I don't want to give away too much with each capture. And again, that's something that will be dramatically improved with Rival AI. Because there'll be much better ways to make sure that grids are, like these enemy grids, are actually more of a resource sink than a resource tap, which they currently are. Max range. This one doesn't need to be. Let's drop it down to 300. Uh, Rival AI is the upcoming mod from Lucas that will add some seriously cool stuff to Space Engineers. And I just love that in my chat, <laughs> Lucas and Climber are <laughs> chatting about stuff that I don't really understand properly. Um, but it is definitely... It is really, really awesome how well the... Uh, different modders for Space Engineers work together. <laughs> yeah, Michael, it's, it, it isn't easy and that's intentional. Uh, I wouldn't want to be too easy, come on, it's me. Okay, we have the Mantis complete. Let's move on to the Manta. It's not that hard to learn for some. I, on the other hand, am not some, and I struggle greatly for, with learning any sort of real programming. It is not... Whoops. Oh. Guess I'm gonna have to replace that. Pick up the thing. Do, 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 do. I'll try and do mostly the same rough layout that I did last time. Uh, but I'm going to try and make the internals a little bit different. So I don't want it to be all the same. <laughs> because you say that, but... I've had some very, very smart people trying to teach me how to program since I was in high school, and none of it has stuck. Um, one of my very good friends is one of those people who does, like, he works on the C++, uh, no, some, yeah, I think the C++ compiler for Google or something. Like, there are people who are much, much smarter than me who have tried to teach me and it still just doesn't sink in. I can hold it there for about a day and then it's just gone. I think the main thing for me would be having some sort of achievable goal in mind that I would, that would force me to learn. Until I have that, I don't think I'll learn. It's just outside my abilities. Yeah, Michael, and that's my problem. I'd rather make videos <laughs> and stream than spend all day every day programming. <laughs> it's just not what I'd um, like to spend my day doing. Okay, I could move the gyros out here and change up a few things in there by doing so. One gyro. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> uh, 
Uh oh, another one. <coughs> Heh. It is weirdly cold here today. For the middle of summer. I would, I would really like to get to a point where I could write even some basic scripts and things, but every time I start looking at it, I think, wouldn't I be better off learning how to do some new effect in Premiere? Wouldn't I be better off learning blah, 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 blah? And then I get distracted by not doing either of those things and don't do anything. Probably get rid of that. Uh, yeah, I can. If I do this. I'm just trying to clear out a different shaped area for this, for the internals of this ship so that I have a much easier time getting things into a different arrangement than what I had before. So if I start with a different shape, I'll probably end up with quite a different design. Okay. Cleared out. I will go with the same cockpit. Yeah, Michael, that's kind of how I'm like it. It's, I've got stuff that I know how to do and that I like doing, and so I learn a lot about how to do stuff in that, but as soon as you try and make me do something else, I'm like, nah. <laughs> that's a pretty funny climb. Considering the stuff that you're capable, capable of while modding, um, I think you can... Feel okay if you don't, if you aren't also able to make pretty grids. Okay, this time let's do... That, and then what I'm going to do is place... Maybe lockers there. Armory lockers there. Oh, maybe not. That doesn't quite work. Might have to go with catwalk. For what I'm thinking. Basically, I'm trying to make the cockpit feel closed off, whereas the other one felt open, and then that means that the whole thing's going to feel quite different. And I suppose what I could do quickly fill in this space is do the inverse of the bathroom design that I did on the previous one. <laughs> yeah, Tex, I agree. <laughs> That's a very good point. The modders should leave us a space to be good in. Um... No, that's the wrong one. Shower. Bathroom. And I'm going to need to put a light on the outside because no one is going to want to use this bathroom. Let's see what happens if I max this one out. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, that looks a bit weird. See ya, Tex! Always happy Grebling. Always. Okay, that works a little bit better. Hopefully I'll be able to get some light onto this wall from a light on the other side. Bleeding through the wall. 
so that all this kind of works a bit better. Uh, apologies about the sniffles. That was not a thing an hour ago. <laughs> it's just started out of nowhere. What I might do for this... Oh no, that doesn't work. Uh, if I... What the? Where did I get that colour from? Oh, I pressed the square bracket. That would explain it. I misclicked. Um, Mackle, I dare say there are quite a few people in my country that would happily trade the uh, current summer for anything. Pretty much. Right now. Uh, but today, where I am, it's only like 20 degrees Celsius, so it's not actually particularly warm. Hmm. If I do that up there... And then I put... Bed. Ah. Fell. Yeah, Mackle, you, you cope with cold like Capac does. I don't cope with cold at all. I do not like it one bit. <laughs> I would happily have 30 degree temperatures every day for my level of comfort. Actually, I'll need to get rid of that. I need a spot for a light. Uh, yes. Yes, Capac does, except I probably end up making more fun of him, to be honest. But that's just our natural relationship. <laughs> it's just what we do. When he gets his own back against me, he does it usually very, very well. <laughs> yeah, imagine sleeping next to that. Imagine the noise. You'd want to hope that window has really good soundproofing. Let's have a look inside the bathroom. Oh yeah, it is seriously bland lighting in here, but it works. I might do. Let's just make this one a bit less bright. That should make it a bit more varied or not. Eh, it's fine. Uh, dragged on, we rent, so we can't fix the door. The door is what it is. Unless we lock it, it's just a push-open sort of door. Uh, it's just the way it's designed. So we... It's just when we forget to lock it at the start of a stream that's the problem. Uh, I wonder if I did this... And then get rid of this side and make the entry to the hangar off centered on this ship. I think that could be nice. Nice little variation. Oh, dang it, still getting used to my new keyboard. And the position of the backspace key is roughly where the insert key is on my previous one because this one's a little bit more cramped. So I keep miss hitting and hitting backspace instead of. Insert for roll twisting stuff around. Okay. 
So it'll be something like... Oh wait, I can do that, can't I? Yeah. And I should still be able to walk down that. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Uh, it's not it's not upkeep. That's actually how the door is just designed. Um, so it's not something that can be uh, complained about as such. It's just it is what it is. That's how the door is made. It was made so that the latch is designed to be pushed open. Yeah, I've never I've never bothered. Re, uh, even attempting to rebind my rotation keys, it just never felt like something I needed. I got used to these back in the old days when I'm not even sure we could uh, rebind them back then. So you just did what you did. You just dealt with it. What am I doing? Press the wrong button. Oh wait, I should use railing. There you go. See, looking totally different to the previous one, and yet still having the same sort of stuff. It's sort of similar to the... in some ways it's vaguely similar to a fire safety door, but uh, it's most definitely not a fire safety door. It's just a big front door that when the wind catches it, the wind's strong enough to push it open. Oh yes, Jin. My, playing on my laptop, I have to hit the function key to get to some of the rotation keys, so I really need to rebind it on that. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah, it's a friendly neighbor door. <laughs> oh no, Mackle, the only latch on the door is the lock. The um, It's kind of like a little roller that's just using pressure to keep itself closed, unless the lock's locked. Um, and... Capac and I are just bad at remembering to do that. Again, it's exactly how the door is designed. It's not a faulty door. Uh, possibly, but then you might have trouble opening it. Yeah, I don't know who designed the door. It's some... It's a massively wide door, so it's awesome. Um for moving in and out of the place because you can get large furniture items through it. But yeah, in Australia we're probably not quite as security conscious as some other places. So it's not that weird. What do I want to do in this space under here? I could put a little wreck area down here. Oh, and I still need a kitchen, don't I? Uh, beds are up there, Mackle. Got my kitchen there. Couch there. And little table. I think this one can have a planter. Yeah. Bathroom's done, bathroom's in here behind the door. Yeah, an L countertop would be nice, but we can't really do that in this space. Yeah, now I got this space to work with now that <laughs> I don't know what to do with.
that's a fairly point, fairly decent point, Tokyo. So you probably could have something like that to keep the door making itself close. <laughs> Game room. Don't think we've got the blocks for that yet. Uh, let's turn off my lights, and I'm gonna need to figure out where I need to, where I can put lights in down here. I might need to get rid of the planter so that I can actually put a light in here. Let's see how this works. The couch is in a lot of darkness. Yeah. Sorry, planter. <laughs> Climb of all people who's waiting for a mod. I feel like there are a few modders in the community that the idea of them waiting for someone else to make a mod just seems strange to me. Largely because they're usually the ones that make the stuff that everyone else is waiting for. So you need a you need a Krieg style modder that just goes nuts and creates a billion different models all the time. That is very true, Big Ol. That is very, very true. Modeling and scripting are very different things. I think I might need to do this. Yeah, I just felt like it was floating up there. Didn't sit right with me. I completely agree, Tokus. You can definitely get away with... It's kind of like sound and video. You can get away with bad video much more easily than you can get away with bad sound. If you have bad sound, people just can't escape it. They can't escape the horrible noise. Uh, but if you have bad video, as long as it's good sound, people tend to be able to put up with it for a lot longer. Which is why I try and put a lot more time into that side of stuff. In terms of my learning, because it's an area I really don't know much about. Or, I know a bit more these days, but when I started out, I knew nothing. Yeah, I'm going to have lab equipment on this one, why not? Yeah, I'm happy with that. Now I just need a little bit of decoration down here and I need to replace the turret I removed. Uh, cans... Can we're... Kind of... Two thirds of the way through, I'd say. Uh, I have lunch plans that I can't... That I will be, uh, attending to at some point. So, I won't be staying on as long as I would somewhat like to but at least I managed to fit one in today because I was worried I wouldn't <laughs> yeah 1.4 ships into the stream <laughs> uh, let's turn off idle movement Let me at your 
inventory. Uh, so, Jin, have you um, signed up for the streaming pinging thing that I set on Discord? So I've got a group on the Discord server that I will ping every time um, I go live and every time I'm doing something with Capac. Capac is less reliable, big surprise, about uh, remembering to ping himself, ping when he goes live and I'm not there. But generally speaking, he tries to remember. Uh, you shouldn't have to do anything else, Jin. I, in fact, I think I order. I even manually added you to that group because it was the auto thing was not working for me, so I had to do it manually. Yeah, there's something really weird with that reaction rolls bot that doesn't quite work as it's supposed to. Oh yeah, that's the other question, um, Docus. If if you've got it muted, you won't. You obviously won't get the pings. All right, I think that's enough decoration for a hangar. I don't think it needs any more than that in there. What I do like is that these cargo containers are going to slightly obscure the path to this turret. So getting right up. To shoot it is going to be an interesting challenge for people. Uh, I don't think there's going to be ammo in these ones. Yep. Yeah, I'm hoping to do some more stationers soonish. Uh, how to join the Discord? <laughs> Does anyone have a link handy, or am I just going to do this? I'll just do this. Uh, invite people. Edit invite link. Expire after never. Max uses no limit. There we go. <laughs> Thanks everyone. I should have just let you do it. You guys got there at the same time as me. Uh, brilliant. Good news. My stupid nightbot isn't blocking you guys from linking and the stupid um, Twitch isn't stopping you guys from linking anymore. Ugh. Because this... The weird thing was, I'd allowed links on both, and it was still blocking it somehow, and I don't know what I ended up changing that eventually worked. But... Yeah. I'm glad that's working, at least. I'm quite happy with these two ships. I mean, I had a very good start point with these ones. I'm just going to give these a bit more light. Uh, just one side. Yeah, just the stair side. Yeah. Look at that. Two ships down. I was not expecting this to be able to be done so quickly. Oh yeah, and in that's another point. If you're able to look down below the stream, like if you're on a PC, uh, it will show up there as well. <laughs> Maybe we'll go... 2700. And then info. I'm going to get rid of a little bit of the extra name length, just to make this a bit easier for me later. There we go. Manta. Uh, turrets. Range up. They've all got ammo. The antenna is set.
Uh, I'm not sure how the thrust is, to be honest. I'm going to take this into my testing world in a moment. Uh, Trobby. Alright, cool. Manta and Mantis, ready for testing. Do do. Then we'll load my ACS testing one, where I've got Omicron already loaded up. Oh, stupid Nightbot. Mackle, what did Nightbot just time out f for that for? I I don't, I don't, I don't understand how to set this thing up so that it's actually. <sighs> uh, it's so annoying. I may just turn it off, although some people wanted it and I just left it at its default settings for ages. Um, and it was, I think it was even time, there we go. Alright, I'm going to try and turn off all, most of, if not all of, the Nightbot moderation stuff for a while and see whether it's even fixes some of these problems. Uh, okay, we need... Manta. Apologies, Mackle. That's really annoying and something I definitely have to fix. Well, that's not a good sign. Okay, Manta does not cope with this. <laughs> with this. And Mantis? Nope. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, right. Well, unfortunately, this... <sighs> so, I made the decision a little while ago that I'm not going to worry too much about stuff not working on Omicron, because... You need to do a heck of a lot to make a grid work here. And I think I'll just have to deal with the fact that most of the ships won't spawn there. But the Manta and Mantas work perfectly on Earth, so I'm just going to use them for that. What I've done for the other ships that don't work on Omicron is I've actually put them... Um, I blacklisted Omicron from their spawn positions. Thanks, Dragon. Um, yeah, so Jen, I need some. I need to just turn it off. Hang on. Let's test something. Uh, let's just put that over there for a second. Uh, night bot. I wonder if I could turn it off midstream. Could be interesting. Uh, more than more than two symbols it'll block you that's ridiculous uh, spam protection that's not even right apparently uh, It's meant to be like 10. So it shouldn't even be timing you out that quick at all. And caps is 20. So it actually shouldn't be timing you out. I don't know what's going on there. Weird. There you go, Mackle. Uh, apparently it updates very much live.
Interesting. Oh yeah, Grumpy Joe, the, all of the streams that I do on Twitch, I back up to youtube.com forward slash Flipsy, F-L-I-P-S-I-E. Um, let me just type it in chat. Which is my stream backup channel and my random weird stuff channel. Uh... So it'll be more of a varied sort of content on that channel. Ultimately, it's where I'm just going to post my streams and post stuff that I wouldn't post to the main channel. So let's paste these into my final designs thing. And the other one. There's another one. What's what was the other ship called? Did I not bring that in? Did I not blueprint that last time? Need to check. Yeah, I was tempted to go with Splatsy, but um Decided Flipsy, because I'd already made the Flipsy one a while back. How did I choose my main Splitsy name? Well, if you look up a cartoon called Captain Simeon and the Space Monkeys, there is a secondary character in that from which I got the name, and then I deliberately misspelled it. Uh, that's the one. So yeah, there's a character in it called Splitzy, but it's spelled S-P-L-I-T-Z-Y. But at the time, this was like, this is when I was in high school, remember, so this is a long time ago and I was looking for a nickname that I liked that no one else had and a few people had Splitsy with the ZY so I was like well let's try spelling it a little bit differently and a little bit weirdly and it's worked out quite well for me because I have it on YouTube, I have it on Twitch, I have it on... I reserved it on Mixer <laughs> just because why not? I don't think I'm ever going to use it, but, you know, why not? Uh, it's just one of those nice ones that works quite well. Yeah, Eisen, it had one season and I think you will love it. Yeah, Jackson, I wasn't too much older than that, if I recall. Though I think it might have been year 7 or 8 in high school, so I was like 10 and 11. Captain Simeon and the Space Monkeys! Uh, th from the intro. Uh, did I not blueprint you? Yeah, it was of that era of cartoons where a lot of stuff was written well above the heads of the kids that it was supposedly targeted at. So, there was some pretty interesting stuff in it. Yeah, why didn't I... Did I not blueprint it? I may not have blueprinted it. Oh yeah, I like the interior of this one. It worked out quite nicely. Oh yeah. So many good cartoons in that era. Oh, I didn't blueprint it. I know the Skeletor can't cope with Omicron. <laughs> uh, it's 
story behind zebra monkeys? Well, given the Captain Simeon and the space monkeys thing, the monkeys part is me. And the zebra bit is from Capac's original name, which I can't really remember the story for. But it was some horrible portmanteau of a creature that one of my mates had drawn that he ended up that was part zebra. So we used the zebra bit. Uh, when we were coming up with a name for our combined stuff, we just went, well, let's go back to our very first internet usernames and see what we can do with them. So yeah, learning stuff about us today. <laughs> yeah, the, the splitsy character, which is this, for those of you who haven't seen it before, um, this is splitsy, which does look a lot more like Capac, which is kind of amusing because I did make a Minecraft character skin that looks very much like that character. Um, so yeah, it is a bit more capac than me these days, but this was high school, remember? People change a bit. What are you doing to me, game? Okay. That is the atmospheric fleet and the space fleet. <laughs> well, I don't think Capac and I have ever really looked alike. Behavior might have been a bit more similar in high school. But as we grew up, we've changed a bit in different ways, but still get along really well, so I cannot complain. Uh, I've probably got another bit, a little bit of time. I might just load up and have a look at a couple of the last atmospheric designs to see if I can come up with some ideas. Because once I've done the, the last of the atmospheric designs that are here, I want to go up to space and do the rest of the space ones. Then I can close off that segment and start thinking about the other file I've got, which has about 50 plus designs in it, which is a lot. Uh, let's delete you because you're in the final designs one now. So are you... And so are you. Hmm, learning unlikely. That's it. I, I feel like learning is reasonably likely when I'm involved. I don't think there's much I can do with this one. I think this one will be relatively quickly de designable. Because it's just this interior space here. There's this module off to the side that Natomir put around the cargo module. And I quite like the design of this one. <laughs> Thanks, Tooth Nail. Hopefully, I kind of hoped that that was a bit of what people would like about these assertive cargo ship streams, is that it's just me talking about design and design within some pretty specific limits. Uh, Gosetu, face cam. Face cam's a bit of a vexing issue on my end. Um, I don't tend to feel that there is much benefit to be had to face cam in Space Engineers. It's something that occupies a bit of your screen space without giving you anything back. So there's not really anything that it adds to the experience. However, at some point before Gamescom, 
and probably a fair while before it. I have to come up with an idea for some... Uh, how do I put it? Real... Uh, wait, I think I just thought of something that I should do here. I have to come up with a in real life video for Capac and I to do. Because to get press passes to things like that, you have to have shown your face on your channel. So they can confirm that it is actually your channel. So there'll probably be something like that at some point this year. I don't think I need this interior turret. I think I'm going to lose it. Now there's a reason I'm doing this with the interior, with the um, catwalk. And that is this floor, when I stare at it with my headlights, is completely black. And I don't like it. I want to make it lighter. Uh, I should probably go with... Uh, which one? Clean. <laughs> That's a fair point, Mackle. Um, golf with friends probably would have room for that. I don't know if there's much point, but maybe I'll try and can... Maybe Capac and I'll play like a horror game or something like that. At some point, so that there's some value in it and something funny. Yep, Cyber Scorpion, I don't take that as uh, insulting at all. My face would get in the way of enjoying the game and enjoying what you are meant to be seeing. And so, I, while I understand that some people really like having face cams on streams because it makes them feel more connected to the streamer. I also tend to focus very much on the visual content of what's on screen. It's why I don't have stream overlays. It's why I don't do all that sort of stuff because I just, I don't actually like those things when I watch. So why would I do them, put them and in, a, in something you guys are watching? That just doesn't sit right for me. Capac playing Five Nights at Freddy's might not be the funniest thing. The funniest thing with Capac is usually when he manages to outsmart me and make me look the fool. Because the look on his face, the look of pride and sheer unadulterated joy when he does that to me is just <laughs> amazing. Every time he does it, I have to look across because <laughs> he just looks so funny when he does it. It's great. Yeah, I don't think we'll ever get the option in Space Engineers to paint just one surface of the block. Their system is probably just not capable of it. I am suspicious. Uh, which is unfortunate, but... Because it, it would be nice to be able to paint just one surface sometimes. I'm liking this for a quick bathroom design. It works quite... it works really nicely. Uh, where do I put my door? Mackle, that'd be so mean to record Kafak without him knowing. I, I, I actually, I'm pretty cheeky to him, but I, I couldn't do that to him. I would feel so, so mean. I can't. I, yeah, no, I can't do it. I couldn't do that to him. <laughs> uh. 
Uh... Oh yeah, sorry, Eagle Trip. I didn't miss the the reason. Yeah, I use the spray thing. So Digi's spray paint tool is that I can hit stuff. So where's an example of it? Um, if I were to build, say this and then have that that and that with the standard paint tool I can't access this corner here but with Digi's spray painting tool I can so I can repaint this whoops wrong block I can repaint that whereas I can't with the standard paint tool so that's why I have it even in creative mode because it is incredibly handy A chess match between me and Kapak. Do you know what's really funny? Kapak could probably win handsomely. <laughs> uh, you give us a strategy game on the computer and I'll walk all over him, but I guarantee chess, he'd probably beat me. He'd, I think there's a very real chance he would walk all over me with that. Oh no, no way am I doing a drinking, drinking game on the internet. That is a bad idea. That is an idea that gets you in a lot of trouble. Funny, but a lot of trouble. Just do this. I know we don't have four people, space for four crew, but I'm doing that. It's got a little dining table. It's got a bathroom. We got beds. We've got a little seat here. I probably should replace that half block with a full block. There we go. My chest and connect four at the same time. Uh, again, Kapak would beat me. I don't know why. There's just something when we play those sorts of things that just doesn't end well for me. Actually, do you know what? Do you know what game Kapak would probably love to play and show off beating me in? Mario Kart. Because he smashes me in that. Absolutely smashes me. Also Smash Brothers, he smashes me in that too. Pretty much any Nintendo game we play together. He kicks my button. Um, we're hoping at some point soon-ish to... I kind of get that. To set up a potential rig for recording sessions played on consoles. Uh, so that that might be an edited thing we do later this year at some point. No guarantees, but uh, it is something we are considering because we've got a space we should be able to set up for it. Alright. Kind of like the open ceiling bit in this. And this one is a bit more homey. It's my cup of cup. Oh, I don't want them in gold. Yep. I need the spray paint tool. look in wood. That that actually kind of works for that. 
The texture's small enough that it doesn't look like giant plastic wood. I had not investigated that previously. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm not leaving it like that, but, um, that's... I don't mind that at all. If we were to build your... Yes, I would play a flyable chess set on stream with Capac if there was one. And speaking of uh, games in Space Engineers, Sajin, how comes the... Uh, how comes your... Whatchamacallit? Uh, curling. Your curling scenario. <laughs> so we can play some curling. And if Lucas is still here, if we play curling, you have to join us. Because that would be amazing to have a Canadian present for it. Um, because Sajin's working on a curling setup, which just looks hilarious. There we go. More... Uh, soft tones in the lighting. Two teams of three, you say? Oh, I reckon we might be able to manage something like that at, with a little bit of warning. Even if we do it as, um, even if we, you just get smaller, even if you could only get three together, um, you could quite easily do who does best in what role competitions and just have them have it set up three ways. Sweet. Well, I think I'm happy with this design. I don't think there's much more I can do or should do to this thing. I have no idea how strong it is, though. Oh, yeah, there's no way this thing's handling Omicron. <laughs> that is not a lot of thrust. <laughs> okay, that's fine, though. It doesn't need to. Omicron was not in the brief when I uh, asked people to design these ships. <laughs> yeah, big hole, that would be pretty funny. Having Lucas's drones doing the sweeping in front of the puck. Or whatever it's called. Alright, what's our antenna? Do we have an antenna? Does this not have an antenna? This does not have an antenna. This needs an antenna. I said antenna a lot then. Hmm. Where? I think back here. Yeah, so Jin, you're not half kidding. Those stones still look pretty cool. I wonder if I can bring it up to show everyone what we're talking about. That was in Community Creations, was it? So Jin, you posted those? Uh, I think. Can I go back far enough to get to them? Without this taking all year. Yeah, here we go. That. <laughs> That is Sajin's curling uh, little things. <laughs> they look really cool. Um, Be Blake, the Omicron planet is my planet that I'm on in survival in, in my Survival Impossible series. So it's a modded version of the alien planet that has a much higher gravity so it has a gravity of 1.9 g's so a lot of these designs just can't cope with that because they do not have enough lift so uh it's kind of um 
something that I don't reasonably expect the ships to be able to cope with because it wasn't something that I asked people to do and over time I might try and modify a few more designs to cope with it just because I'll then have more designs that can spawn in Survival Impossible but for now uh, what I've done for the ships that can't manage I've just blacklisted Omicron from their spawn so they can't spawn there which means I'll be pretty limited in what does spawn there but I'll be traveling to other planets in that series so it shouldn't matter too much uh, do I even have any missiles on me? I do not 200 doo -doo -doo. let's pop some missiles in some ammo in and this one over here ah uh, Jacoby I look at well I'm I'm in Lucas's discord and I do watch the chat there every now and then or with reasonable regularity uh, for the MES once uh, they're mostly the ones that I use, the ones for Modular Encounter Spawner. So... But I don't tend to look at many of the others all that often, to be honest. It's just a time limitation thing. I think that's all of the turrets. Uh, Digital Blue, this is for the Assertive Cargo Ships mod. These are community submitted designs that I am working on that I am hoping to include in the mod soon to add more designs to it. I've been gradually working through them over a few months. Yeah. Just got to rename that antenna. And I think this is another medium difficulty one. Medium. And because this one's got missiles, I'm going to give it a bit of a shorter range antenna. Let's go with 2200. Oops. Sweet. Ah. Oh. Hey, Kanata. Um, nice to see you in chat. <laughs> I did not link... My brain didn't connect you to being Kane's new community manager. How's it going? Um, I'm I'm guessing you're part of the reason we now get a whole lot of um, space related news on the Space Engineers Twitter as well which I think is a good thing oops I forgot to rename this oops that's what I want <laughs> yes there we go and we will delete you, because you are done. Now I'll bring that into my other save. Uh, Mackerel, how many ships left? I think there are about 60, to be honest. There are quite a few. Uh, final designs. And once I add these in, let's have a look at how many designs there will be in there. I'm going to have to take screenshots of all of them as well. Because on the mod page, I've, had, I've put screenshots of each one with who the author was in the description. Who the original designer was, I should say. Almost forgot what the name of that grid was. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Nope, don't do that. Heh. So what we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve different hull designs with a few modifications on each for Atmo. And then 
space ones at the moment we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight different designs. But this this isn't this isn't all of them. There are still two more in that save that I was just in. And let me show you the one that's really, really ridiculous to show you how many submissions there have been. I think there might even be a couple that I haven't added to this yet, even. Uh, do, 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 this one. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm assuming you're European time, Kinata, so I'm not surprised you don't catch me on stream much. Because I tend to, these days, I'm a bit more in the afternoon for my random Twitch ones. Um, just, I think, an awkward time of the day for you. So, this is the collection of other ships that I have not yet added. And not yet done anything to. So we got this, and you can see, what's my sim speed? Well, it's still holding at one, but you can see how choppy this is with the number of grids I've got in here. But there are some pretty interesting designs here. Some that don't fit the brief, so won't be making it in, but I've just pasted here to show them off when I eventually get around to it. But. There are a few, like this one, I'm pretty sure exceeds the... Oh no, it doesn't. It does not exceed the PCU limit. I take that back. It will when I'm done with it, and I'll probably shorten it so that I can fit some turrets on it, but... We've got a whole raft of ships. And I should really move the sun so that we can see what the heck we're looking at. That's better. These are not my designs. These are designs that people have sent me and that I will adapt to bring into the style of the rest of the ship. So building in interiors and that sort of stuff that makes that'll make these all fit and feel right. Yeah, Trekker Joe, I saw that you um, updated the Sojourner. Hopefully I'll remember that when I get around to it. Um... But you guys know me, I don't tend to put up with large flat areas, so any ships that have that will tend to get them broken up a bit. But I try and look at a ship and go, what feature of this ship is unique about it? And then I keep that feature while I do any redesigns. So I keep, I try and keep with the feel of the original design. Um, this ship here is the one that will not make it into the thing but I will show off at some point because it's got custom LCDs and custom LCDs are not okay because they have a fairly big performance impact so yeah there are a lot more including a giant Capactron <laughs> so Hopefully I'll get some time to do another stream like this soonish so that I can get a bit more progress done. I am planning on doing these a bit more often again. Because I do want to get some of these many, many, many designs into the mod and ready to go for Rival AI when Lucas has that complete and ready to go. So, there's, that's actually where I'm going to end today. So there's all that and plenty more to come, and I will see you guys then. Thanks for coming, everyone. Hope your weekend goes well.